Well, if you're following the Karen Reed saga, uh, there's uh, some pictures out there that... Uh, no. No. What? I don't like this story. Alan Jackson getting kind of hot and fresh with Karen. Have you seen the picture? I saw it when it came out and I was wondering if it was real at first because it is. I know it is. Yeah. Cause I've seen it now from different angles. Um, embracing his client has surfaced. That's one way of putting it. It's kind of like the football player, like having his arms around the cheerleader girlfriend at, uh, like halftime or something. <laughs> like, like being draped over your girlfriend is what it looked like. Like really draped. Like like you move your hand and you're cupping a boob. <laughs> I, it kind of looked like he was. Yeah. It made me do a double take. Like, dude, where's your hand? He's got one Why like are you that. that comfortable with her? And he's got another one around her waist and like kind of touching her midriff uh, and her belly a little bit. And um, yeah raising some concerns about his potential impact on a retrial. The image obtained by Fox News Digital and other outlets show Jackson in a cozy embrace with Reed outside a Boston restaurant on June 27th after the case had been given to the jury uh, for deliberation. Perception is everything. And if that photo is authenticated of the lawyer cuddling with his client, I can certainly tell you that's something that's not a good look. Former Washington, D.C. homicide detective Ted Williams told Fox News Jackson, a high-powered defense lawyer, has not responded to requests for comments about the photo. <laughs> Everybody's asking, like, how is she going to pay for them again for the next trial? <laughs> I think we know. Uh, Jackson and David Yanetti were Reed's attorneys who successfully argued that the accusations against her were part of an elaborate cover-up and frame job. The defense led to the deadlocked jury and nearly 26 hours of deliberation resulting in that mistrial. Reed... 44-year-old financial analyst walked out of the Denham, Massachusetts courthouse, a free woman, after two years of conspiracies and venomous rhetoric against her and the family and friends of her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, whom she was accused of killing. However, the case is far from over. The Commonwealth intends to retry the case. Prosecutors said they are, uh, but they said before a smiling read and her lawyers finished speaking to their supporters and news outlets following Monday's mistrial, the narrative surrounding the case has heavily focused on Reed, turning the Boston suburb of Canton into kind of a Civil War-like atmosphere, with the death of O'Keefe becoming more of a footnote than the actual center of the story. Quote, uh, it's turned into the Karen Reed show, O'Keefe's brother Paul O'Keefe told CBS Boston. She walks through a crowd that cheers her on. She goes in public and takes pictures and signs autographs. Isn't this kind of fucked up for someone who's, like, accused of killing a police officer? Yeah. Accidental or not? It's like, Yep. There's just nothing I'd be like, oh, look at me. But I don't know. Judging from their fucking uh, her phone messages to John O'Keefe, she strikes me as a bit of a narcissist. That's just my opinion. The controversial photo shows Reed cuddling up to Jackson outside Smith and Walensky, a high-end Boston steakhouse. Last week, as jurors deliberated whether she murdered her Boston cop boyfriend in 2022, the iPhone Live photo appeared to capture Jackson a star criminal defense attorney from Los Angeles wrapping his client in that embrace. Uh, I was eating dinner with my wife and I happened to look out and see them outside and it looked wrong and inappropriate. So I just grabbed the closest phone and took a picture, said the photographer, who did not want to be named. It was just her attorney, kind of, I don't know what you would call it. It looked inappropriate for an attorney-client type situation. The Smith and Waleski, where the snap was taken, is not far from a North End restaurant where Reed and Jackson were earlier photographed dining with members of the legal team wearing the same outfit seated the embrace photo a dark sleeveless top on reed navy blue t-shirt and blue jeans on jackson before the embrace reed was beckoned to join two people for a photo these people's outfits a blue collared shirt and dark shoes on one man and a rectangular black watch on the other match the same outfits worn by the others in the uh, north end dinner photo so case is going to be moved towards a retrial. There's still a lot of possibilities here. Could be played out. They could change their mind. Um, does it play much of a role? I don't know. I know a lot of people are saying it does, but why? Why would it? It doesn't change what happened or what her role might have been. Is it an inappropriate relationship with your counsel? Yes, it is. Um, you know, that's neither here nor there it doesn't change the the case he he was an effective attorney um 
I think he yeah. did a, an effective job. Um, it doesn't change anything, but it does ride against the the ethics portion of being an attorney. Yeah. You know, and so that part of it, eh, it would not it be, a good look. It would not be the first time an attorney and a client ended up in a relationship. Right. Um, so is it right or wrong? I think probably during the trial, not the best image to portray out there after I do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. But, yeah. um, but this is not done a, yet. Yeah, this doesn't go to a retrial and who knows? I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know what the ethical rules are for this. If there even are any ethical rules for this, like technically, like with the bar there, there are, I, I'm there are? almost certain of it. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not an attorney, but I'm married to one. Yeah. Um, I can tell you there's, there's rules. I, and I, okay. I don't know that for sure, but I, you've got to be very careful with your relationships with clients. Uh, there's conflict of interest and, and things of that nature. I, I mean, he's, he's crossing lines. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not a good look. It's not, it, it doesn't instill confidence in, in a lot of people in an, a lot of areas. So I, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are um, specifically, but I can certainly find them out. It's not a good look. Uh, the American Bar Association uh, professional conduct rule 1.8 J states that a lawyer shall not have sexual relations with a client unless a consensual sexual relationship existed between them when the client lawyer, lawyer relationship commenced. But I, I can't imagine that you can do that with a client. Well, unless a, they were an active client, unless they were doing it before he she hired them, then that that would not violate that rule. But if but who knows? What the, it's a picture of them with his arm around her. It's not like they were fucking in public. But um, that's next week. <laughs> But here's the thing. I'm looking at the picture and his hand is like right over her breast. And, mm. you know, could that have just been, oops, sorry, my hand got in the wrong area. She was maybe moving. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I it's, mean, it's a snapshot. It's just an embrace that a client and an attorney shouldn't have during an active trial. Unless you're like grabbing someone quickly to pull them out of traffic, which this was not. Um, right. I, I don't see a reason why you would have your your hands Anywhere near where he had his hands, unless it was some sort of a kind of handsy, you know, flirtatious move of some sort that they both clearly looked very comfortable with. Yeah, they look a little comfortable. I mean, we've all seen, believe me, I've seen people that I've worked with and I have looked at them and gone, well, you guys are awfully comfortable, like wiping something off of your boss's mouth <laughs> you yeah. know like huh i would never do that with somebody i worked with it doesn't yeah. you know it just doesn't look right like hmm, i would never reach over and go you got a crumb right here and, and like physically remove it from their mouth yeah unless i have been really close to their mouth before you know what i mean yeah then you have that comfort level this just feels like this is not the first time this has happened yeah they really feel i mean again we're talking about a single image it would have been interesting if it was more video to see more of the body language. Was this just a quick weird thing or was it a one-off or was this more of a something more uh, than that? I don't know. He's a, he's a pretty high powered attorney. He does have a lot to lose. Should there be uh, some sort of penalty for this? I can't imagine there'd be like a, you know, disbarring or anything of that nature, but um, you know, there could be sanctions if they're, if it's ruled to be something inappropriate. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, the more I'm reading into, you know, um, the ABA model rules have a pretty clear guideline. You read what it is about having a consensual sexual relationship. Um, but, you know, again, this is an active trial. It's a very visible trial. It's not it's not good for the image of this whole thing. Well, it's it's just not. And at the end of the day, for him, at the end of the day, we're talking about a dead police officer. Yeah. And they're out there acting like, you know, fucking J-Lo and Mark Anthony, whoever she said. <laughs> that, ben Affleck. That, ben Affleck. That was a long time ago. J-Lo and Mark Anthony. Or J-Lo well, and, yeah, and Diddy. Ben is almost history as yeah. well. So, Well, there you go. Uh, it, you know, it's that. Uh, it's, it, it's not. You're not a fucking celebrity. You're accused of murdering someone. And if you didn't do it, great. 
but this is not your ticket to fucking fame. Want to listen ad free? Want advance access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.